concert venue and I'll follow him at Goldfest. This was a very good start. You know, audiences are very fickle. You have to grab their attention. And you did. It was a very good start. It was a rest day. They just sit up and listen. It was terrific clarity. It was spot on. It was controlled. It was majestic. And then when we got to the label, this was crisp and lyrical. Nicely blended textures. Now, that word textures is very important when it comes to brass bands. And I hope we'll be talking about that more during the day. The textures of a brass band. It's not just a question of just blowing the things. You've got to match all those textures in the band. The middle of the band, the horns, the trombones, nice edge to the sound, the basses with that nice depth. You know, it's a real art to get the textures right. And you're well on the way to do that. So well done. Very good intonation as well. And that's another thing. Especially in a hall like this. Uh, wide dynamic ranges, scintillating stuff I like put uh, towards the end. And then now we'll follow him. We have these lovely trombones over here. Uh, lovely lyrical beginning, warm and sonorous, nice blend of trombone section with lots of balance and lots of integrity as well. That meant it was quite considered in performance. They thought about how they were going to do it and it had integrity. It had something about it which was had some depth to it, which is really good. Nice muted sections, nice new tune, and then we went to the rock section. Great style of commitment, but a beautiful ending. And then finally, Goldcrest. This is a great style, isn't it? Uh, I use the word rollicking. I'm not being impolite when I use that word. Rollicking just means, you know, it really got us going And We were really being driven along, rhythmic figures, uh, real edge of the chair conviction. It was bright, it was effervescent. And uh, you really set this place alight. So, congratulations, the Blue Coat School.